Hi there, welcome to Isabel Explains. In this short video, I'll show you how to graph a quadratic function written in the vertex form. Let's go! If you've seen the other videos I've made about quadratic functions, you will know that the most important point in the parabola is the vertex. And lucky for you, this is written in the vertex form, so the vertex is already given to you. All we have to do is look at the equation. We know that the vertex is always written in the form of hk. So we know that 3 is going to be my h and 2 is going to be my k. But be careful, because the equation is written as minus h, which means that this plus 3 you have to look at it as minus negative 3. So my h is not 3, it's negative 3. And with a k, we don't really have a problem. The k is just 2. So my vertex is just the point negative 3, 2. Let's graph it. From the origin, I just go 3 to the left, and I go 2 up. And now, how do we find the rest of the points of the parabola? Well, very simple. I personally like to draw this little table on the side, and what I do is I always look for points either before or after the vertex. And in this case, I'm gonna look for numbers before the vertex because I don't wanna be dealing with those big negative numbers. So what numbers should I use? Normally, I try to stick as close as possible to the vertex because given that this is a parabola, it's probably gonna go up very quickly. So I'm going to choose negative two and negative one. So let's just substitute the negative 2 on the x. We have negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Squared is 1. Plus 2 is 3. And then we do the same thing with the negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Plus 2 is 6. So let's go ahead and graph them. We have negative 2, 3. And negative 1, 6. Now, the cool thing about parabolas is they're symmetric, right? So whatever I graph on one side of the parabola, I can just graph it on the other side of the parabola. So if this point is right here, there's gonna be a point right here. And if this point is right here, there's gonna be a point right here. So when I go back to negative four and negative five, negative four is gonna be three, and negative five is gonna be six. And Pam, there you have it. If you want to learn how to graph a quadratic function written in the standard form, go ahead and click on the card above or check out the link on the video description. And also, I left a worksheet for you to practice how to graph these guys. I'll see you on the next video.